Senior Thomas Housel is used to taking hits, but two years ago he was sidelined with a concussion. It was a blindside hit to the back of the head. I just remember laying on the ground and people surrounding me and I was a little bit dizzy and confused. Thomas says the recovery process was slow. I experienced a lot of headaches right after the fact, some troubles thinking and uh, focusing on certain issues and sometimes, especially in school. And I, I want to say that lasted a couple months. Most symptoms usually resolve in a few weeks, but up to one third of children develop persistent symptoms such as headache, nausea, dizziness, blurry vision and light sound sensitivity. Now researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital find saliva may help identify which children are at higher risk of lingering symptoms. The saliva we're looking for these molecules called microRNAs. There's 800 different ones that we're looking at. Researchers identified 13 that were different in the group of children that had prolonged concussion recovery compared to the group that did not. Dr. Katherine Miller envisions this non-invasive method could be administered on the sideline. This could be indicative of some sort of biological event, right? Some sort of reaction that this child is having, that their body is responding differently than other children who have typical recovery, right? Thomas took part in the research. I thought it was pretty cool. He wants teens to know they should take a head injury seriously. I think you just need to go get it checked out. Because it's better to be safe than sorry before getting back out on the field. Elise Preston, CBS News.